of the great options that Create and Cut has in it is our welding and cutout options. Let me go ahead and show you how to do some basic welding techniques. First of all, I'm going to select the normal text, and I'm going to go ahead and type the word weld. Now, anytime you're doing welded words, you want to pretty much use some type of script font or something that's going to allow continuity between those letters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the font to a script font, and we'll go ahead and select brush script right now. Now, um, we talked in the text mode about um, how you move letters around by simply dragging the um, tracking arrow along the baseline. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag that tracking arrow and I'm going to make sure that each of those letters overlap. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. Okay, so, so let me draw your attention to the red line that goes around the letters. That line is the actual cut line. So you see where the red line in between letters, how you have that overlap, and you see the little sections? It's going to cut out exactly how you see it on the screen. So what's going to happen is these little cut lines are going to cut out exactly as you see it. So what you're going to get are little pieces of letters that are not continuous, they're falling apart, and a lot of little confetti pieces for the in-between overlapping pieces. And we don't want that, we want something that's much more continuous. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select weld, and we do so by selecting the weld button, which is right here, and all you do is simply click on it and it's that easy. Our text is welded. So now, when we go ahead and cut it out with our wish blade, we're going to get something that looks like this which is a heck of a lot easier to add to any paper crafting project. Okay, so that's welding text together. But let's go ahead and take that a little bit further and we're going to take and we're going to type the word flower and we're going to insert a flower for the O. So we'll go ahead and we'll type FL and then we're going to put a couple spaces in and type the WER because our O is going to be the actual flower. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the font to something a little bit more fun. I'm going to change it to the curls font and enlarge that up a little bit. And I'm going to go back to the font and I'm going to select the F control point and I'm going to enlarge that F a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a flower. And I'm going to do that by using the polygon tool. And then I'm going to size that down to fit in oops, so it fits where the O would be. And position it exactly how I want that. Now, my letters are still not quite touching, so I want to make those touch as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the text option. And I'm going to snug them up a little bit tighter. Okay, now I'm going to copy a copy of the flower to the pasteboard by doing a control C. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab everything that's here that's already overlapping. And I'm going to simply click on the weld button again. And now the flower is part of the word flower. And as it is, it's a very cute little title to add to a page. But I'm going to go one step further, and we're going to use the cut out option. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to paste the flower that we drew. I'm going to scale it down a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to pull it over the other flower, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a drag select and select both of those options. And I'm going to go over to the weld button and I'm going to select cut out. And now I have an opening in the flower, which is really cute. And to add a center for it, we can simply draw 
a circle in the center. And if we wanted that circle to fill the entire center, we can go ahead and scale that. It's kind of large. And once again, go ahead and grab all that and select weld. And now it's one continuous piece. So when we cut it out, our flower is going to look something like this, which makes it a really cute title. Very simple to do. So have fun playing with welding and cutting out. It's one of the great options of Zyron Create and Cut.